Hey Rec Tech family, I'm Chef Greg, and we're gonna throw you an old school barbecue throwback. We're gonna show you some delicious barbecue spare ribs. All right, we're gonna start this recipe off by making our own rub. We have some brown sugar, white sugar, black pepper, flaked onion, granulated garlic. We've got some smoked paprika, that's Ray's favorite, some kosher salt, some cay uh, cumin, some cayenne pepper, some chili powder, and some garlic granules. All you do is just dump that in a, in a big bowl, right? Barbecue tip, save your bottles, and that way you can easily refill them if you want with seasoning. And don't be afraid to combine some of your favorites. If you've got a couple small bottles of rub laying around, go ahead and combine them and see what it tastes like. You might be surprised. All right, old school easy. These spare ribs have already been trimmed, and honestly, the only thing we're doing is remove that, that membrane, which they already did for us. And we're just gonna slather these down with some mustard. And then we want to be super generous with that rub. We're going to do these on the RTB380X Bullseye Deluxe. We got that burn in the Rectech Ultimate Blend Pellets at 225 degrees. You could definitely do this on any of the Lifestyle Series grills as well, but we'll, uh, we'll show the Bullseye some love today. All right, Rectech family, we are gonna spritz these ribs. We've got a mixture here of apple juice, apple cider vinegar, some sugar, and some butter. We put it on the stove, melted it all down. Now make sure you label your bottles. Don't reuse any uh, you know, Windex containers, anything like that. Um, but make sure you label, we'll give those a spritz. We'll go ahead and get our barbecue sauce made as well. We got that Rectech original sauce right there. Okay, we're gonna elevate that with some peach preserves some ketchup and to help it give a good thickness and some amazing color we've got some corn syrup and we can put this on the grill or on the stove just till it melts and that's gonna be our glaze we'll use this in the last 30 minutes 